Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you what is in my daily makeup basket. These are products that I use near enough daily. There are a couple of products that I have like a couple of that I will swap out depending on what I'm doing. So I'm not going to wear it as an intense a highlighter to work, that kind of thing. But I tend to wear sim the similar foundation just because it lasts a really long time, complements my skin, that kind of thing. So I kind of keep it all in this massive basket here and what I'm basically going to do is empty it and then repack it show you everything so if you're not subscribed already then please press that subscribe button before you leave and if you press that notification bell you'll be notified every time I upload so if you want to see what's in my daily kind of makeup kit then please keep watching so what I thought I'd do is I'd try and kind of go in order of application and then I'm going to try and arrange the box nice and neat because it become an absolute mess. So the foundation that I use every day is the foundation that lasts the longest on my skin and looks the best on my skin. I'm wearing it today mixed in with some CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. So this is the Maybelline Superstay. And I have the shade 03 True Ivory and 05 Light Beige. Now I have two shades because initially I picked up 05 Light Beige and that wasn't the correct shade for me. I didn't know it wasn't the lightest shade at the time. Now, to be honest, neither of them are the correct shade for me. They're both a little bit too dark. So I will lighten it up with like quite a lot of concealer, that kind of thing. But this lasts so well on my skin. For those of you that aren't aware, I have normal to dry skin. And what I do is I pop um, my beauty oil on a few minutes before I'm going to pop this on. And then I put the foundation on with a sponge and it just looks so good and lasts all day. I have a photo that I just posted on Instagram. Um, you'll see my links at the start and end of each video. But like I'd worn that foundation for 10 to 12 hours and it still looked really good on my skin. Like it wears a little bit in oily patches. Like I am slightly oily here and here and that's where it tends to wear if I don't powder it. But that's about it. It looks so good on the skin and I would highly, highly recommend you guys try this. So the next thing I have are concealers. I have three. Two are from the same brand, so it kind of counts as one, so I don't feel too bad. Um, these are the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. I have C1 and C0, which is the white one. I have both shades because this is kind of like my perfect match in terms of if this was the foundation colour, so like the Fast Base Foundation Stick in F1, but it's too dark as an under eye brightness. So basically I mix these two together, apply it in my T-zone and under my eyes, and that helps just to brighten my look up because the problem I have is obviously I wear foundation that's probably a touch too dark, which I do not recommend you do. But this does help brighten that up. It's also really full coverage and it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Although these are smaller by like they're a third of the size, they are £4. It's like you're paying £12 for a £28 concealer which you can't even get in the UK without having to pay like customs fees. So it's definitely worth a go. I also have the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the new shade. I use this a little bit as an eyelid primer and I also use this as a concealer because I do really like it. I find this creases on me a touch more than the Revolution one, but I still think this is really good. And this one, I don't really have to mix. Not with this foundation anyway. This one doesn't need mixing. It's in the new lighter shade Zero Extra Fair. I was using one fair initially, but that definitely oxidizes. So I think once you swatch in store, consider like it's going to oxidise. Wait for a couple of minutes, see what the shade is and then kind of go back and choose. Otherwise, you might end up with darker under eyes than you intended. So for face powders, I have two. I have the Barry M Ready Set Smooth Powder. Now this one I do really like actually for a loose powder. Now that I've tried other powders, I'm not so keen for it under my eyes. I find like it is a little bit creasy. However, I am running low on this, so I'm basically kind of using the last of this up to kind of move on to some new powders to try. So next I have the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in Translucent. So this I can also use for brightening up my under eyes. Although it's translucent, it does have like a white cast to it, but I'm not sure how that would work for flash photography, so do consider that. But I also use it to set my entire face and it does kind of lighten everything just a touch, which I find beneficial to say someone who wears this kind of darker foundation. However, 
I think it also makes the skin look like really flawless. It complements that foundation so well that I definitely feel like I look fairly airbrushed afterwards. It's just such a nice fine powder. It just works so well. So because it's the summer at the moment, I'm not really using contour. I'm not really feeling it. I've been using a bronzer instead. So I've been using the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. I just find this really nice and I use a L'Oreal blush and I find that this blends really well with it. I use it to kind of bronze around my face and my cheeks and it just looks so nice, blends really well and it's not too intense or orange for those of you like me with pale skin. It's got more of this kind of like brownie hue than orange which I really like if she can get into it. It just, it just gives this really nice glow for someone with super pale skin. I really recommend giving this a go. I think if you've got a darker complexion, this wouldn't really show up on you. However, for those of us pale princesses out there, this is really nice. So next up, I have blushes. I do keep two about. One is more glowy and one is a bit more matte. So it depends on what I'm feeling that day. Today, I use the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush and this complements the bronzer really well. It also smells like peaches, which is an added bonus. Not that you smell it once it's on your face, but it just gives a really nice peachy glow that I just, I'm madly in love with. I just think that it's so creative and I feel like there are so, so many pink blushes out there that peach is almost a little bit new. It just, it works so well for me. I really, really enjoy it. Now this Milani blush I've got is the Baked Blush in Luminoso. What I'll do is I'll swatch both of them on the back of my hand for you so you can kind of see what I mean. This one is definitely like more glowy than the L'Oreal one so it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're going for super glowy makeup then I think this would really work for you. If you're just looking for a nice kind of matte one. Like this is a touch more pink whereas this one is definitely a touch more peach. It's just... They're both really nice and buildable, like you don't have a massive like wash of colour. You do have to be a little bit careful not to pick too much product up or you're going to have that massive wash of colour. What you need is just to go slowly, slowly at it and then it does become quite buildable and natural looking if you're careful. But no, it's absolutely lovely. And I think for like properly glam makeup, I go for the Milani one. And for like work and for something a bit more tame, I go for the L'Oreal one. So for highlight, I have two different palettes by the same brand that I definitely use for like different things. So for work and a bit more tamer days, even though this is fairly glowy, I use the Soph X Revolution palette. It has all of these colours and what I tend to do is I tend to kind of dip into these two together and it just really suits my complexion when I've like bronzed and everything like that. I quite like the pink one, I think the pink one's really bright too. Why did I swatch on the same finger I swatched the freaking blush with? The pink one is really pretty too, really bright if you like a pink highlight. And you can use the rest on your eyes as well, like I can get away with mixing this one and this one, I use that one occasionally. I don't really use these three unless it's for my eyes. But otherwise, this is a gorgeous palette and it is super blinding. There are many, many videos that I have worn this in. So all you'd have to do is kind of type the product name into the description bar on my channel and it should come up with a video that I've worn this in. So the new highlighter palette that I've got that I go to for like a super glowy highlight, super, super glowy, is this Revolution Quad in Ignite. I'm pretty sure it's Ignite, um, I think Incandescent is the darker one, but you can find it on the Revolution Beauty website, I don't believe it's on the Superdrug website as of yet. But look at this bad boy, these, I could use nearly all of these colours, I say nearly all, I kind of like to combine these two and these two, I don't think I could get away with this one, but I'm not mad about it. These are really decent pan sizes and the quality is just... Oh. You only need like a tiny little bit on your brush. I'm wearing it today and I only took a tiny bit because I didn't want it to be like too heavy. But look at these shades. Bam, bam bitch. Like oh, these are gorgeous. I would highly recommend this. It's like a tenner and it's just so pretty. I have it in my daily makeup thing and I've owned it for like a week 
it's just it's just so pretty and that's if you want like a super intense glow if you're more like a glow from within kind of girl this isn't going to be for you but if you want like a proper blinding highlight then I would totally recommend this palette now for brows for brows I have kind of gone back to the same thing I always did it's like a comfort level for me I feel like this works and I struggle changing I have bought a few new products that I'm going to work with see if I can get them to work for me I believe it's more technique than anything else my lack of ability with brow pomades or eyebrow pencils is just a big thing for me and you'll know this if you watch quite a few of my get ready with me's I do try them they don't always go down well so I mostly use this broken <laughs> revolution redemption palette I have the lid here and I do try and cover it, but as you can clearly see with all the dents and scratches and powder everywhere, that doesn't always work out so well. So I like to use this one for my eyebrows. I don't really use this for my eyes anymore. It used to be one of the like basic things that I used to just reach in, do my eyebrows, do my eyes, do whatever I could from this palette. But no, no, I use this one really now for my eyebrows. You can kind of see the line in the middle where I've been wearing at it. But I pop this in my eyebrows, but now I like to set it with this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. So it's like a brow mascara, and it has this tiny little wand, and you just set your brows with it, and it kind of gives them like a nice tint. It's not clear, so if you have like super long brow hairs that are gonna like come up like past here or whatever, you're gonna want to trim those. But this does tint them and sets them really nicely in place. So like when you comb them up and you're gonna like draw in your brows that way. You don't want them like flopping back down. So this is why I use this and it works really well for me. So the mascara I actually tend to use 90% of the time is this drugstore one. It's the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I'm wearing it today and I just feel like it's so elongating. You have to be really careful for it to not get clumpy. Like this applicator is just so clump prone. I can see it you get like big kind of globs of mascara like you can't even see the wand properly it just kind of clumps into the wand however somehow it works for me and I'm not so clumpy today you just have to be really mindful and really aware that it can get clumpy if you don't take it slow none of this wiggling business unless you like a bit more volume which you are going to end up with clumps with and just brush these up I like mine a little bit more wispy so this works really well for me as does the benefit roller lash so i got this mini through this offer benefit we're doing which was like a trade rolled mascara in that's run out try one of ours so i'm going to do like a like battle of the mascaras eventually with the um, bad girl bang bang they're real and this one but I haven't really tried the other two yet, but I've been using this on like special occasions because I just find like it just clutches at your lashes so well and it just makes them so like long and curly and wispy. I absolutely love this. I definitely feel like I may treat myself to a full size one when this runs out. It is just so gorgeous on the lashes, so beautiful. So for my eyeshadow palettes, I have kind of a running theme here. I just it's revolution revolution just works for me so i have two revolution eyeshadow palettes on my like day-to-day -day kind of colors and that's because they work so well for me and they are my day-to-day -day colors now this one is a new one which i have tried like two shades from so i can't say go out and buy this just yet i'm going to do a swatch video shortly to kind of show you guys what i think but i'm enjoying the like the two colors i've used from it so far so this is the Soph X Revolution palette, um, but this one, this one is definitely something I use all the time. I tend to mostly use the same colours, but as you can see, I have used this quite a bit. So there are a combination of matte and shimmers. I did a swatch video on this, which I'll link down below. But this is just so pretty. So some of these shades work for me, some of them don't. I tend to dip into the same ones fairly regularly, to be honest. I really like Cup of Tea, Tiramisu, Mug Cake, um, Sparks Fly is really nice. I'm just going to go through all the freaking colours in the end, aren't I? But no, this is gorgeous. You can create like full glam looks with this. You can create everyday looks with this. I tend to just pop like two shades in the crease and off you go for work. Um, but sometimes I also throw on a bit of glitter just because I'm feeling extra or if I have the time. And I created like 
nearly eno near enough the full glam look that I did fairly recently for an event I went to from this palette. So I just, I would really recommend giving this palette a go. This is just £10 and you get like 24 shades. So apart from the Benefit Mascara, this is one of the only like really high-end products that I own. This is MAC Fix Plus. As you can see, it's like half empty. Today I haven't actually used this because I'm trying to kind of go through some of my other products as well because I feel like I'm neglecting those. But this, this just melts your makeup together. It gives you this beautiful glow. I almost feel like naked without it. Like it's just such a refreshing spray. And this, I have the coconut one. There is lavender, there is rose. I would really recommend this. It's 19 pounds off Mac Online. I believe you can get 10% discount with uni days. So maybe give that a go. But this is fantastic. And it has lasted me for this this has probably gone down for like a month and a half of use maybe even two months so this lasts for a really long time and i wear makeup near enough every day <laughs> bit of an admission there i didn't plan for that to happen but anyway <laughs> but this is so good if you're looking for something where you're super powdery and you're just like there like i could tell i'm wearing loads of makeup this will really help you out i totally 100 percent recommend this so that's it. I've repacked my box. It's still an absolute tip. Ah uh, well, I really need to also wash all the brushes that are piled in my box. But we'll pretend that that's not there. This is real life, guys. I'm showing you my real life everyday makeup bag. It's going to be an absolute state. But anyway, so if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload and then you won't miss a video. Thank you very much for watching.